praise. You're such a wonderful person, do you know? Dating you has been nothing short of amazing. You have made me the happiest man alive. Since I met you, you've been nothing short of amazing, and I'm glad for that. I really do love you. I love you too, and you know that. Sisters say that um, she's not suitable for me. Oh, that's powder dash. Ah. This is the dead girl I'm bringing before my mother, and this is the dead girl she's rejecting. I don't understand. I, I take a girl home to see my mother, and she says I can marry her. Oh, she has to give me a reason. And her reason has to be very cogent, else I'll go ahead and do my thing. I'm the one to live with a girl, not her. If it were only my mother I have to contend with, it would have been easier. But my sisters seem to be in league with her. This is serious. I think we have to do something about this. Yeah, we do. Because all my life, they have done nothing but lead me on like a dog on leash. I had to tell the poor girl to go ahead and um, move on with her life. I wouldn't have to keep her down because of my people. I think sometimes it's good to take a firm stand. We have to do something about this. So what's up? What do you think of the guy? I... I think he's... I think 
think he's a nice guy. Like, for now, that's what I think. For sure he's a nice guy. Do you know what? He's been my friend before I met and even started dating James. He's a cool guy. He will like you. So, why doesn't he have a girlfriend? Well, just like him, he's been in and out of relationships, just the way you behave. You know that's not true. You don't just decide about a guy on your first date. Okay. Why not we go this way? Let's go there and start up something. Introduces to someone who is whose weight is not worth in gold. If I am not in a relationship with James and he asks me out, I will rush in and accept him without thinking twice because he's cute, he's rich, he's everything. Oh, let's go. Come on, say yes. James. I can see that Ekene is drunk. And do not my friend likes him. Listen, forget about all that love song he's singing to her. Please, I do not want him to break her heart at all. Do you hear me? Not to worry, okay? I assure you, if there's anything I see in his eyes, it's love. He's madly in love with her. She has please to be drunk. Don't break my own mask. Spare me. That's that. <laughs> Hello? Hello? How's your night? Hmm. You should be having a hangover right now. After you drank five bottles of beer. <laughs> Thinking about you has removed the hangover from my head. <laughs> you were. <laughs> so you mean I'm now a hangover expeller? <laughs> I really had a great deal of fun last night. <laughs> Me too. I laughed so hard last night. As a matter of fact, my ribs still hurt. You know what? I think you should try comedy. <laughs> wow. You are the reason for your aching ribs now. I know how that is, but I can be of help, you know. Mm. Like what? Like giving you a tender massage and soothing those nerves and veins and making you feel okay. You have started again. Okay, you know, I tell you what we'll do. Let me take you out for lunch today. I know a very good and quiet restaurant in town where we can go and talk. Hmm. That sounds interesting. Okay. I'm free this afternoon. Don't eat anything at all because I intend to feed you fat today. You're skinny. Hello, hello. I thought most guys love skinny women. Not someone like me who wants to have some flesh around. I don't want a skinny babe around me. So I'll be looking for her and be asking, baby, where are you? Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> May God help you. <laughs> <laughs> he has helped me already. Hmm. You know what? Eh? Looking at you, one wouldn't know how funny you are. You look so calm and quiet. But I'm calm and quiet. Oh, you're yeah, right. Tell that to the Marines. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, unless I travel to the States, I'll do that. Oh, God. You know what? Text me your address, I'll pay you a visit, okay? Yes, sir. I will. Last night was very hazy for me. I was seeing trees. <laughs> Do have a lovely day. Bye. Do you have food in the house? No. Okay, um, I want to go to Sister Daku's house. But I want to bring something for you. Food for you. When I'm going, I'll just pass by your house and drop it. 
Hope you love some jollof, jollof rice. You're home. Are you not going to work today? Perfect. Cool. So just dress up before I come so that we just go together and, and play with our sister's kids. I don't get you. Any kids. They are your nieces and nephew. What do you mean by any kids? Hmm, really? Who is she? <laughs> Ekene, if my brother is seeing somebody, I want to know the person. Who is she? So I'll help you from making mistakes. You know you are women. Eh? Hello? Hello? Ekene? You never let. Lovely place. Yeah. I haven't been to this place since I got into this town. I have my ways. Hmm. Meaning you take too many women out? What do you think? What do you want me to think? Well, I know James and Mabel must have told you a lot about me. But what I do not know is what exactly they told you about me. I'm just coming out from a, a breakup with my ex. And I'm not looking for someone to date at the moment. They told me a lot about you too. Hmm. Yes, they told me you were beautiful and it's <laughs> evident. And what didn't they tell you? They didn't tell me you were this witty, exciting, <laughs> and have a huge sense of humor, and I find that attractive in a woman. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. My turn now. Well, I'm equally coming out from a relationship of two years, and this is my way of trying to unwind. What happened? It wasn't just going anywhere. So, how fast do you want this to go? You are the man. The decision rests on you. Do I take that to mean I'm at liberty to determine the pace and maybe pacing it a bit? I am a woman who knows what she wants. That's it. What do you want? Figure that out yourself. <laughs> so, how is work? Work is fine. There was some pushing. Wow. Such a lovely apartment you have here. Thank you. Hmm. Beautiful. Thank you. Ah, this is lovely. You've got taste, I must say. <laughs> <laughs> you can say that again. It's cozy. I love it. I love, I love everything. I love the furniture. I love everything. <laughs> nothing I won't do to be beside you. I want to spend my whole life but standing where I am now, she's like a long memory. When, when did you break up with her? The answer I will have to wait because I have something else in my mind. And what, what do you have on your mind? You just arrived, my place. Hey, 
games. How's it going? It's cool. How did it go with the loan? My ears are itching. <laughs> it went well. Oh, I won't take that for an answer. I want a detailed answer. My ears are itching. Talk. No. For a young man, you're very inquisitive. Uh, I agree. But at the same time, tell me how it went. Anyways, it went fine. I invited her over on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Went out, got back to the house, had fun, one thing led to the other, and then, you know, it was nice. You mean she spent the weekend in your, in your place? Mm hmm. That girl is not just good in bed, she's fantastic as a person. She made sure she cleaned everything in my house, put everything in place, and left my house sparkling. Plus, she made me the best stew I ever ate in my life. <laughs> I thought as much. <laughs> That's my ma. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I'm your ma. I'm your ma. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, that was what happened. Mm -hmm. And? What again? What do you want to know? You guys made that, right? We made love. Mm -hmm. She did what? Yes, we did. I mean, all through the weekend, we didn't even step out of the bedroom up until this morning he brought me back to school. And what did your mom say? My mom. I told her I came to your house. Oh, thank God I didn't go to your house. Hold on a second. You didn't get my text message. I saw it this morning. Would James allow me to see the light over the weekend? He wouldn't. Well, you should have at least called to let me know what was going on. He just blanked out, just like that. How? Oh. I really do not know what is happening to me. What is happening to you? I mean, I'm still thinking. How could I have jumped into bed with a man and just meeting on our first date? Yeah. Uh, it's very unlike me, really. It's very unlike me. And what could that be? I don't know, but I I feel lost when I'm around him. I I feel like <laughs> wrapping myself all over him. I could this be love? So what is it? I I, I can't tell, Andrew. Can they write? <laughs> Hello. Hello, my princess. How is my princess doing today? Very well, thank you. And how has your day been going? I'm fine, just as work. I'm attending to the things I need to do. So. Oh, please stop joking and do the job you're paid to do. <laughs> For real, I'm not joking. No, I'm serious. Mine is distracting. Why? Because I see your face everywhere. My computer screen on the table, my telephone on the files, everywhere. Look around, your face stares me right in my eyes. <laughs> stop flattering me, please, please, please. <laughs> I'm not flattering you, honestly. Make sure you get something. I don't want you getting hungry in that office of yours. Okay, please, um, take a cab and come straight to my office so we'll go home together. Is that cool? I'll do just that. See ya. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Same here. I love you too. <laughs> 
friendly. <laughs> Babes, now you have the answer to your question. Someone is in love. Yes, I'm in love. He makes me feel so special. Wow. Okay, now you have to tell me what's going on. Mm. And you too. Let's go to lunch. Love her go. <laughs> really? Let's go. You don't look happy. What's wrong? Nothing of importance. Whether it's important or not, I'd like to know it, please. You are too curious. <laughs> it is only the cat that it kills. I was just wondering... What happened to your ex? Why did you guys break up? Just wondering why... A girl would leave a man so sweet and loving like you um truth is um it wasn't her fault you give me too much credit i was the reason for the breakup your fault is it that she wasn't good enough for you on the contrary she was everything a man would ever ask for in a woman we were already making arrangements and um and you have a traveling tomorrow. It's okay. To see my mother. It's been about a month I last saw her and you know how it is when I haven't seen her in a while. How do you expect me to cope without you over the weekend? You're not coping without me. You're coming along with me. <laughs> I don't get you. What do you mean by that? <laughs> I think it's about time you met my family. You and I have been dating for a while now, so I think we should go see my mom, see my siblings. Because you know where I come from. I'm not going anywhere with you. You haven't said anything to me yet. Anything like what? You see, honey, I, I've been waiting for a very special moment to do this. You know how it is. Um, but on a second thought, I feel there is no moment more special than this time when we are both together. So let me humbly ask you to marry me. Please be my wife. <laughs> Again, I, I was only teasing you. I'm serious. <laughs> serious. <laughs> Please. I'm not going to marry you. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank I'm you so not. much, baby. Uh. <laughs> Come here. So my name is <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I love you so much, you know that. You're the best thing that ever happened to me. So are we going to the village together? Say yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Arthritis, the thing is still affecting me. In short, the last time your sister was here, she bought me some medicine. Man, okay. the medicine is not helping the arthritis. If you give her an apatra, I want to respect for any kind of medicine. I'm Don't worry. You. Don't worry, Mama. Uh, it will have respect now because I'm here. Oh, yeah? I'm here going. I believe you. <laughs> good evening. You, yeah, good evening. <laughs> you people are here. No. Yeah. Uh -huh. hey. Let's go inside okay. now. Okay, go, Zoma. I have Who's... some things in the boot. I sent to Zoma to the market to buy some things for me to make soup. As if I knew you were coming. Hey! Now just ya no soup won't you, man. Go for cheese. Alright. Hey! Hey! Give me this. Hello! 
Mama, I cannot wait. Hey, Mama, leave me. Follow me, Fa Uzo, Mama. Yeah, he'll bring out the things. Okay. Mama, you going? You're welcome to my place. Hey, 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 Anna. Oh, we were manga. Hey, 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 manga la. What are you talking about? You don't get that like this in the city. Oh. Uh -huh. That is why I always tell you to come home more often. Eh, Ejo? It be me literally fed the fresh. I knew it wouldn't be long before you went back to your very, very, very usual topic. Uh, but you see, if you get married, mm. at least your children and your wife will come and visit us while you keep busy. Okay? No problem. Mm -hmm. That is why I have come with praise. Because uh, I'll be getting married soon. Uh, I was actually going to ask you who she is. She's a girl I want to marry, Mama. What is it? Hmm? I didn't say anything. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where is she from? Ah, uh, Okoni Bo. She's from Amarako. Oh, where? Oh, where? Ah. I don't attack or not. I'll tell you that. Okay. <laughs> what does she do? Hmm. Mama, this girl in Enanya is the marketing manager of one of the biggest hotels in the city. What do you think about it? Omaka. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm not a hotel manager, hotel city. I'm a queer mo. I'm a man at that hotel. I'm a man. And I'm sure you know I like you. I like you. And I'm sure a lot of people like you too. Yes. Then I'm at the hotel like you. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I'm a mo. Yeah, I'm a mo. I'm not alone at the hotel now. I'm a mo. I'm a food you quite a mo. No, ma'am. You're welcome. I'm a like. I like you very much. Imolo, <laughs> Hotel. <laughs> she know this, she know that. As a matter of fact, I like that. Now she be my one and only. My hi, son. hi. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, baby. How are you doing? I'm fine. How have you been? Fine. Your mom is such a peaceful person. Yeah, she is. And she has a sense of humor. Yeah, you can say that again. I'm glad you like her. She likes you too. <laughs> yeah. Honey, you know you'll be staying alone in this room tonight, are you? I, I know, I understand. I'll be sleeping in the next room, just the next door. That used to be my other sister's room before she got married. I don't think anybody has used it since she moved into her husband's house. But in any case, if there's anything you need, just let me know and you'll have it, okay? Okay, baby, I'm very comfortable. <laughs> Besides, this is going to be my husband's house. Yeah, right. <laughs> Take care of yourself, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Miss you. Miss you. Miss you, do. Okay, baby, see you in the morning. Okay. Alright, take care of you. Bye bye. She be living for me Cause I like him so, 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 so How I love gonna flow, flow, flow Anyhow she be living for me You are awake already? Morning, how was your mind? Mine? Mine was good <laughs> I had fun, I was just Ah! Mama, good morning yeah, Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Uh, nah, I am fine and I slept very well. Oh, good. Alarum can do a bomb, see Alarum. Good. Eh, eh, eh. It's sweet. Mama, how is Uzoma? Where is he? Uzoma. Mm. Okay, Uzoma. Uh, he's at the backyard. Oh, the fine. Farm. Eh, I want him to boil me some water to take my bed. Boil you some water? Yes, Mama. Okay, for you? For me, for me. Uh, okay. It's alright, he will boil for you. At the backyard? Uh, what you can do? I can't go there to say I have a... When I'm coming, eh? Okay. Alright. Hey, I said, oh, when somebody is passing, you hold up. Ah, did they teach you? See, let me tell you something. When somebody is passing, you wait. 
Eh? Sorry. Do you know how to boil water? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay, I was wondering. You boil water in the hotel. Okay, before the night. <laughs> Are you not going to church? Uh -uh. Have you forgotten I told you we are traveling back this morning? Oh. If I go to church, that means our journey will be at night. And you know I don't like driving at night. Uh. Yes. Moreover, praise is a Roman Catholic. So I don't think she would be accustomed to our way of worship in church. Are you fair, man? Yes. All right. <laughs> that reminds me, Mama. You've not told me your impression about her. That girl is definitely not for me. I'm on walk on Hey! Oh well again. You must go find a woman can do it. Ah, they they will go for oh well the girls, eh? They walk around everywhere looking for men. Ha <laughs> ha. Coupled with the fact that this one works in a hotel, manages the hotel in Nambano. This is like bringing Akuna Akuna into your house. Because as she's managing hotel, she'll be managing the men, everything inside the house and outside the house. Mama, walk. Mama, what kind of talk is this now? Hey, hey, shout at me. Don't even shout at me. Uh -uh. I'm trying to be a good mother to you. As my only son, you cannot go out there and just marry anything you see. Look at that girl. A woman should wake up early in the morning and boil hot water for her, her husband to have a bath. Oh, dear, la, la, Eh? What are we even talking about? Now let me tell you, this girl is not the right girl. When the right girl comes, I will know. Faba Kunike, hotel something. And besides, she's a Roman Catholic, I know my hand can. Okay, tell me, when you people are about to get married, which church will you go to? Or CMS Kunu Geche, Konkende, Father? No, answer me now. Then, when my grandchildren finally come, and I get ready to go to church with them, I say, bye bye, we are going to. Uh, 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 Catholic. Mo as if I'm going to Anglican. Nam, a man walk. Is there any girl I have brought back to this house that you have not found fault with? Is there one that will bring that you will not find fault with? That is because you've not found the right person. If you bring the right person, I'm not going here. Once I see the person, I will know she's the right person and I will accept the person. Besides, I know what is happening to this generation. All their marriages either has a crack or breaks down. And I don't want your marriage to have any crack nor break down. As my only son, I want a perfect marriage for you. So I know what I'm doing. See, once you bring the right woman, once I see her, I will know. If any in Agaba, I will support you. Uh -uh. If you in a make it up, Nama man no one kin at your mama. Eh? Oh, if I can get a little. I'm going to get this thing. I'm going to get a little. 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 I'm going to Hotel manager. Oh, where? Oh, hotel. Two in one. All in. Oh, Kifi, Yami. I'm going to go to the hotel. 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 I like him so, 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 so. I'm going to go to the flow, flow, flow. And how she be? Baby, is Mama ready? Yes, she's ready. Are you ready? I'm ready as ready can be. I can see. You look sad. What's the matter? <laughs> nothing. There's nothing to be sad about. You're fine. Okay. Um, baby, you have to go and get dressed. Okay, then let me get my stuff. Okay. I am bigger. I'm not going to be rejected like a side of beef. Mama, you are ready? Yes. Okay, that's all the people will be going back uh, later today. <laughs> yes, Mama. We have to leave on time because we don't be very busy. Oh, no, Maka. <laughs> you will have a safe trip. Thank you, Mama. Mama. Thank you for accommodating me. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> I really enjoyed my stay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. Mama, I'm like this. 
You're giving me. Hey. Child, I don't want her. I don't like taking money from you. No, Mama, this is not, you're, you're not people now, so it's okay. Mama, yeah. you just have to Please, you can use it to get yourself some provision. When do you want to kill it, but for your finishes? Hey, thank you. Mama, thank you. Hi, Nem. You really know how to be nice to people. Yes. You know, you're a good manager. Yes. That is why you manage people very well. <laughs> In whatever capacity. Yes. <laughs> it's all right. Yes. Uh, you can okay. You can I, uh, yes. call again. Yes. Okay. Uh, call again. This one is called bribery and corruption. Tell me that. You've been moody since we left the village. You hardly talked to your mom before we dropped her in the church. Why? What is it? I'm just thinking about work. It's nothing. You know you are a poor liar, Ikini. I know you're angry because your mom does not love me. How do you know that? It's very obvious. Yes. I noticed it. See, Ikini, what makes a man a man is his ability to make a decision and stand by it. Yes, that we are going to stay together lies in you. It's me and you that is going to live together as husband and wife, not your mother. So whatever decision you take, I'm standing behind you. Yes. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> So is his younger brother? Is he a doctor too? No, he's a banker. Hmm. I can see an earring on his finger. Ah ah. Mm -hmm. Wait, you've surveyed him just like that? Yes. Oh no 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 no. Well, see. he's not yet married. Maybe you want to propose to him. He's looking so cute. Wow, he's my kind of man. All right then. If you really like him, like you say. Why not talk to Dr. Izine? She can connect you to him. Yes. Uh -huh. I'm going to talk to her. Seriously. He's just my kind of man. Oh. I can't wait. Sister girl, pick up from your dreams, please. I need things to do. Continue with your work. See ya. So what did she say? That she's not suitable for me. She's a Roman Catholic. And she walks in a hotel and then that she's from a weary. What's the meaning of all of those? I should ask you that question. What is in that thing that she told you that you do not understand? Are you supporting her? Etele, I know my mother. She will not see a good girl and tell you not to marry her. It's not possible. How can you talk like this? You don't even know this girl. How can you be so emphatic about somebody you have never met? I do not need to meet or even know her. Oh, you want to marry a girl that is from a wedding? I could know a wedding. Eh? Then a girl that is even a Roman Catholic. Eh? You, you want to start having children that will be fathered by different neighbors, different men that come to that hotel. Is that what you want? You cannot just wake up one morning. See a girl on the street and just speak her and say, Mama, I found a wife, I want to marry. Is that how you do it? It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work.
some work that way. Some of all these, all these girls are gold diggers. They will just come into your family, destroy the family, and, and they make you look like a fool before your people. It doesn't work that way. Ekene, my man has told you your mind. And sincerely, I am with her on that. That's simple. All of you are impossible. Ekene! I understand how you feel. I personally stood against other girls you've brought home for reasons you are well aware of. There's no need getting upset at Azin and Mama. If it is possible for a sister to marry a brother, Azin would have married you herself. And don't forget you also stood against the young man she wanted to marry. Why would she want to marry that kind of a man? They love each other. And don't forget that the young man was a medical doctor. They could have made progress easily if they were together. Be that as it may, why don't you send your girlfriend across this weekend? Let her come and stay the weekend with us. By that, I can assess her. If she's suitable, I'll, I'll talk to Mama. Maybe make her change her mind. There's no need getting upset. Just relax and eat your food. I want to go and make food for my husband. He said he would love to eat rice and stew when he comes back. Hmm? So I'll be busy in the kitchen. Yeah. Oh yeah, Kwekwa. I hope she agrees to meet her. There is no. All I'm saying is. Just go and stay the weekend with her. It's not, a, it's not an issue. It's not a big issue. So what's the big deal in going to stay with her for the weekend? Everything, Ikeni. I am not a side of beef that should be examined by everybody before it's sold. You asked me to go with you to the village. Yes, I did. Only for your mother to start behaving as if I was picked from the gutter. Don't talk like that. Mama treated you well. Oh, yes, she did. You think I did not overhear what you guys were saying? <laughs> she said I was from Owerri. That automatically makes me an harlot. <laughs> I am also a Roman Catholic, Ekene. <laughs> that automatically sends me to hell because all Roman Catholics worship the devil. <laughs> and I work in the hotel. Oh. That is against the gods of your lands, too. Will you stop being melodramatic? That's an old woman you're talking about. You know women, you know how the behavior is typical of them. Whenever their sons want to get married, they make sure they want to find out everything about the girl. That should be what you should hold on to. You know that. All I'm saying is, just make out time. At the end of the day, I'm the one who has a final say. I'm the one who decides who I'm getting married to. Just make out time. Go stay with my sister. So at least... Oh, so she can assess me for her golden brother. Right? That is not true. And if I'm found wanting in any way, she can tell you that you should drop me like a bag of fufu. You know that is not true. They're just caring for their own. That's what it is. It's not a big deal. Honestly, left for me, there's no issue in doing this. Like I told you, I love you and you're the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. Okay? If this is what we're going to do to make this happen, I'll gladly do it. Why don't we just do it and let it go? Maybe go on. Let me go home. Let me go home. Please. Let me go home. Let me go home. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's my husband. Praise. Praise, please help me with the gate. Can't you hear the horn? Help me with the gate. My husband is back. Yes. Wait. And make sure you bring in whatever he comes back with. So check the boot. kitchen anyways. It's just a plate. You can now go and sleep. Hmm? Let me handle it. Don't worry. Please let me just finish. Oh God. Stop. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Just wash your hands. Nasty. I'm sorry. I said it's all right. Don't worry. I'll, I'll pin it. Girl is nothing but a bumbling idiot. Only one night in my house, and she almost broke all the plates in my kitchen. She doesn't know how to cook nor do any other house chores. Can you imagine that my husband came back and was running out the gate? And this young lady was busy in the sitting, playing with her phone, chatting all kinds of people. I called her and called until I came and tapped her. I removed the earpiece from her ear to tell her to go and get the gate for my husband. If you see how reluctantly she stood up from my own sofa to go and get the gate, like she was the Queen Elizabeth herself. Boy, let me tell you. If that is the kind of girl you want to marry, you are completely on your own. Because Adako will not be a party to idiocy. She know this, she know that. As a matter of fact, I like that. Now she be my one and only. I will send her phone to bring some food for you. She did this how, she did that how. But I cannot leave her now. You better mind yourself, my baby be that to you. I like I'm so, 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 so. I like how I love got to flow, flow. She be living for me Cause I like him so, 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 so I like him so How I love got to flow, flow, flow mm -hmm. Anyhow she be It does not matter for how many years you have dated my son 
The bottom line here is that we all want the best for him. This is the most heartbreaking thing I've experienced in my life, Mama. Your life? How long can life want? Nem, please, how old are you? I am old enough to know that a man that I have loved and cared for for so many years, now his family decides that I'm no longer good enough for him. I, I don't want to sit here and cry with you. I'm coming. Let me excuse me. I'm coming. What? She know this. She know that. My daughter, you're still here. Ah. You know, I'm a peacemaker. I am a very loving person. Huh? And I, 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 I wouldn't want to get angry. So I will ask you to kindly leave my compound, please. I need to make a call. Very important. Mama, please, can I say Please, so? Pico, I say now. Don't even say anything. Please, I don't want to manhandle you. Just carry your beautiful self and leave my compound, oh? Don't let the tears drop in my compound. Oh, you just catch it, thank you. Mubarak. Hello? Hello, Mama. Mm -hmm. And the latest has happened. You're not, eh? you're not, no, you're not sounding well at all. What is it? Hey, yo. What? Is she mad? Eh? Push her out of that house. Just push her out of that compound. You have to push her out, oh. Please, let me attend to baby, oh. Biko, thank you. Oh, this course. Mfong! 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 Ma? Please, come with the hot water. Okay. Be quick. This course, eh? Sorry, baby. Sorry. So, where is she now? I don't know. She blocked me. I went to where she used to live. They said she had moved out with no forwarding address. I just couldn't locate her. I felt she had even left town because most of my friends knew us together, so she couldn't take it. She must have been terribly devastated. It wasn't your fault, really. Besides, I feel there was something your sisters saw, which you didn't see. What did they see? Did they see the same thing in a woman? Who is a woman? The second girl I should have married. <clears throat> what happened again? Another long story. I can see Mama too. Oh, is she in? Yeah, she's inside. Oh, good. Um, hey, woman. Meet Ezine, my other sister. She's a medical doctor. Wow. Ezine, hey, woman. Good afternoon. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> um, let's go and see Mama inside. Mm. I like I'm so, 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 so. How I love 
the flow, flow, flow Any how she be, live on for me Cause I like I'm so, 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 so How I love got the flow, flow, flow Any how she be, live on for me Cause I like I'm so, 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 so How I love got the flow, flow, flow Any how she be, live on for me Cause I like I'm so Hello, Ezi. Sister. Sister, good afternoon. I used to come here this evening. I'm already on my way. Is there any problem? Perfect, sister. Please, hurry up and come here now because he can't just walk in here. Has he said anything why he wants to see us? No. But, but he came in here with one girl like that, looking like one uh, mommy water. You know, I think that is the reason. Mommy water, what? Sister, sister, I am not joking. You need to see this girl. She is looking obviously from the rivers. If if, if this girl now again, on her chat, eh? What I don't understand is where a goes to get all this kind of guests from, eh? He cannot just go somewhere, get a very good girl and marry a decent girl for a wife. I don't get it. Even he said a name and the name is saying, I said, no. He won't man. What kind of a frightening name is that? That name is frightening now. Eh? Is that what they name? A won't man. Is that an Igbo name? Yeah. Sister Ijukwam, how would I know? I don't know. Don't worry. When I get to the house, I will see her. Has Mama seen her yet? Um, I don't know. They just walked inside now. But you know, if not for one thing, I would have stopped them from going inside. They they, they, they do not say eh, hey, isn't there started again? And can look here, but they won't enter. But just to avoid issues, I stayed back. It's alright. Don't just do anything stupid, okay? Who knows this one might be a decent one. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I wish D. It won't matter. It's a decent. We are. Sister, so come. I'm, I'm, I'm here. waiting for you. Be fast. Be cool. Be cool. <laughs> How old is that region? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, nah, it's not Igbo. You people are different. Chai, I said it that the name is not Igbo. Fan as so far, I'm the Igbo. I'm the Igbo. I'm the Igbo. I'm <laughs> okay, let me get you a chair to sit down. No, no, no. We want to take a stroll around the village. I want to show her around. Oh, she mm. wants to look around the Igbo village. Uh, can you see how many are there? Open her head. Hello, you get back on that time. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, 
Mommy's funny. I told you she'll like you. Yes, you will. So let's go, so I'll show you around. Okay. I need to see the village square. Like I told you before, people so children get that. Are you out of your senses? Are you out of your mind? Eh? You did not see anybody to bring home. It is a girl from Delta. Who told you that Asaba women stay in marriage? Onye How many times will I tell you that she's not from Asaba? That she's from Iseluku? Iseluku didn't have been. Of if I call her now, Asaba, they test Iseluku. The same thing called. A Delta girl will always be a Delta girl. If you call her, do you know what happened to you? Go and marry her and bring her here now. Or mother get three children. Before you know, she just take them away from you. To under man, you know say again, you will lose. You don't know. Oh, oh. Hey? Hmm. And tell, just tell me that he doesn't know all that. Even if you want to marry a data girl, for instance, let's just assume oh, we're not agreeing. Or put that mommy water girl, that girl not checking in green water. Want to marry? Eh? From the waters. Are you blind? Can't you see? How can you talk like this, is it? And when I see that Millie Wedja, does anybody come out of the waters? You are the ones who were on my neck to get married, get married, get married. I brought the first girl, you turned her down. I found someone I feel I will get married to and love and have a happy home. You will still kick against it. What is it? Hey, Kenya, you are not with your right sense. Obviously. No, forget. Hmm. My enemies have gotten the best of me. Mama, stop <laughs> that nonsense. Happy being a girl. Nobody has gotten any best of me. I am with my right senses. You are not. If you are in your right senses, you will not be sitting here spotting such nonsense with your mouth. Huh? Huh? You will not be sitting here spitting such nonsense with your mouth. You see that girl? She is leaving this house first thing tomorrow morning. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. If you don't know how to find the right woman to marry, we will help you. I have friends, as in good friends, whose sisters are ripe enough for marriage. Yes. Eh? And not all these things you are bringing home that we don't know where they came from. Only God knows how many hotel beds your backside of grace. No. In a new one, you say. Bali can naman nanaka. Akukon. No, mke can naman man 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 take kwanaka. I will not sit here and have you insult a woman. She's a good girl from a good home. I see. A good home indeed. Can you explain a good home? Can you define a good home? Mungu no no. She has brainwashed you and made for a good home. You believe that? You believe that? Hook, line, and sinker. Let me ask you a question. Wait, Ekene. Do you know where Iseluku is? Across the night, I go about in Akon. Ezinde, Ezinde, nobody invited you into my relationship. Oh. Yeah. Nobody has invited you into my relationship. If you do not want to see the wrong part of me, just keep your mouth shut. As for that girl, I will marry her and nothing will happen. Eh? You are insulting me now, Koya. Sister, you, can, can you imagine? You are insulting me. Sister, you can know that we are here now trying to help you figure out your confused life. You never, never miss us. I want to get that one, sir. No, that one, see now. Is that your fault? All of you can go to hell. Eh? But if you're a woman, I will marry her. Eh? Sister, hey, don't bother yourself. Okay, woman. Now look at woman. Let him go and marry a woman. I can marry a woman. I go down to a man and I woman to go to a woman. I'm going to Flow, flow, flow. Anyhow, she be living for me. Because I like him so, 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 so. How I love Kelly Flow. The woman. What are you doing? Please, I'm leaving. Come take me to the park. You can't leave now, it's night. I have to go. I mean, your mother and your sisters do not want me in this house. They don't want me. They think I bewitched you. They think I am from the water. They think that my people are evil and are bad. I mean, I cannot stay in the same house with the people who do not want me. No. You can't listen to them. Please. I have to go. Listen, you can't even go at this time. It's late. It's dangerous out there. What if something happens to you? How do I explain this? Who cares? Who cares? If something happens to me, fine. Please, I have to go. No, I don't even know why I have to follow you down to this place. Please. Don't. I don't know. Your sisters are cruel and begotted. Who are they to judge somebody else? Who? I'm sorry. Please don't do this. I'm the one who, who brought you. I love you. And I'm the one who takes the final decision here. Marriage involves families. I mean, how am I supposed to live happily with you if your family do not accept me? How? I need to go. Hey, you want? Hey, woman. 
See, listen to me. I have to go. You, do, you can't go. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. What kind of a thing is this? What kind of a family can mind the body inside like this? What is this? A hey, woman. A hey, woman. I had to come immediately to make sure you got home safe. And I'm really sorry about what my mother said to you concerning yourself and your family. You don't have to apologize for them. You were not the one that said them. But they had no right to judge you and your family like that. Maybe they were right after all. I've heard people say such things about my people, but they think I am a Mirota. That's because you're beautiful. Maybe they don't want you to get married to a beautiful woman. And maybe I will not make a good wife for you. Can you cut with the maybes? I love you and I want you back. That's what matters. I'm the one who's getting married to you. Please come with me. Your love comes with rejection and that I cannot handle. I mean, I have told my mother what happened and she said I should not see you again. I'm sorry. I think what I need to do now is just to take my time off, you know, to recover and maybe someday you will find a woman that will love you and your family will accept. I... What is all this? What kind of family am I from? So that was how I broke up with a woman. And in that moment, I met a Neka. Hmm. Neka? Yes, the second girl I wanted to marry. No, you told me a woman was the second. Uh, yeah, no, actually, a woman was the first. The one before her, we didn't have anything serious. Um, Neka was naturally a very good girl. Things were moving on smooth between us. But it didn't work out. It just stopped one day. The day I ran into a woman for the first time after we broke up. You ran into her again? Yes. And she was married. You, you know what else will do. You and only you. You're the answer to my prayers. And yes to the no says. And there's nothing I won't do to be beside you. I want to spend my whole life. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here is Ekene, my ex, the one I told you about. Um, the one whose uh, mother and uh, sister rejected you, right? Yes. <sighs> <laughs> they are lost. My game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, Ekene, meet my husband, Daniel. Yo, what? You got married and you did not tell me? Oh, I didn't think you would have wanted to know. Well, thank you for leaving her for me. Mm -hmm. As you can see, <laughs> the virtues remain. Uh huh. <laughs> Leave them. Mm. Right, excuse us. Into people. 
I'm sorry. It's okay. Whatever the problem is, God is in control. Why do you ask? You seem like I've met you before. I don't. You are beautiful. As beautiful as other girls you've dated. Well, I've not dated so many girls, but... More beautiful than all the girls have dated. And the beautiful part of it is that you come from my place. We're from the same place, which means I wouldn't have to pay so much as bride price. And then, my people would not have any hesitation. I think we should slow down. We just met. We should take our time and study each other properly to see if we'll make ourselves happy. You're already making me happy. A few rounds of exciting sex does not constitute happiness. Yes, I agree. You're the answer to my prayers, and yes to the no says, and there's nothing I won't do to be beside you. I wanna spend my To my prayers and yes to the no says and there's nothing I won't do to be beside you. I want to spend my whole life with you. You, 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 you. You know it won't work obviously. So why won't it work? For so many reasons. <laughs> that Necker girl is thoroughly a bad girl. She was into Ross while we were in school. Neka is a girl that dated all the governors and senators. She attended all the parties in, in Abuja. She is not the kind of girl you will marry. Although not possible. And again, she is my friend. Oh, good. Fine. Since she's your friend, it makes it easier. That means it will make her integrate into the family easily. And knowing that you know her from way back, she gets in, she becomes responsible, and everybody's at peace. Hmm. <laughs> really? <laughs> you have not even come to terms with the main reason. Which is? She is not your mate. You cannot possibly marry a woman that is older than you. And who told you she's older than me? I am telling you because she's older than me. I knew you. I knew you would always get something to hold on to. I knew you would always look for a reason not to accept her. There's always one reason or the other. But you know what? Fine. When I eventually find the woman I will settle down with, I will just invite you, Mama, and Sister Da to the marriage. I'm not bringing anybody for you to peruse and assess again. Perfect. Are you done? <laughs> Kenne, I know what to do for you. I will help you as a sister. I will go and look for a very decent girl for you to marry. Nugo, case closed. I can sell, 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 sell. How I love got a flow, flow, flow. Anyhow she be living for me. Cause I like them so, 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 so. How I love got a flow, flow, flow. Anyhow she be living for me. Cause I like them so, so, so. So, 
That's the story with my exes. So you know what you're coming into. Why did you tell me? I just felt you should know, normally, so you know what you're up against. My sisters are very uptight. In fact, they are involved in my life. They are interested in who I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. So if you're going to do this with me, you know we are in for a fight. But you haven't asked me to marry you. Yeah, but with the way things are going, it won't be long before we begin to talk towards that direction. It's okay, don't worry, let's go inside. My brother. Yes, the one that came the other day. Oh, I can. Okay, <laughs> it's fine. Why do you ask? Nothing. Just that I've been thinking of him. I can't just get him off my head. Really? Yes. Do you like him? Yes, I like him. Who wouldn't like a man like that? He's a handsome man and I hear he's a banker. Yes, he is. <laughs> um. Please help us tell him that he has admirers. Mm. Mm. Is that so? <laughs> yes. Okay, I will tell him. You cannot go back to your work. Okay, then. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How are you? Who are you? Um, are you Mr. Kenne? Yes, I am. Mama said I should give you this. My mother? Yes, sir. What's inside? Foodstuffs. Wow. Hey, Mama, come in. <laughs> Thank you very much. Come in. Uh, <laughs> Mama has come again. She sent her with foodstuffs. Uh, Welcome. Good evening, Mama. Good evening. Oh, okay. Mama wrote a letter. What's the meaning of this rubbish? Hello, Mama. What's the meaning of this? Did I tell you I was looking for anyone? Even if I was looking for a wife, is this this local village thing you brought here that I'm going to get married to? Mama, let this be the last time you will do anything like this, Biko. Biko. Nah, chill up on it now. Just take a good look at the girl first before you start complaining. Eh? I know what I'm doing. I am telling you what I think right away. That girl is leaving my house right away. Now, now, now. It's not late. Okay? And don't do this again. And I'm your mother. In a camp. And I know what is good for me. I know the kind of girl 
the same way more will make this in the room. Yes, I know what I'm talking about. See, she's not like those city girls. Eh? That you keep bringing home. You see those ones? They're after your money. The minute you lose your money, all of them, I forgot about eh? They will all leave you to your faith. But you see Esther, I, she's just like the Esther in the Bible. She will take good care of you. She will stand by you. Nina, don't lose this opportunity. I'm repeating myself again. Don't ever try what just happened again. If you do, whatever happens to that person will be on your head. As for this girl, she's leaving my house right now. It's not late. And let me warn you, Mama. Do not send any other girl my way. This is the last time you'll do this because I'm not even pay attention to that person. Okay, then we are. Please! I'm old enough to choose who I want to settle down with. If I want to get married, I'll pick a wife and get married. And don't bother about me bringing her for you to see because I will not bring anybody for you to see and approve of again. Okay. Okay, no make it now. Bye bye. Yeah, and yeah. Here we But love. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, I hope you are prepared. <clears throat> For what? Enough sex tonight. Eh? <laughs> At least this one has your mother's seal of approval. <laughs> There's something wrong with you. <laughs> ah, my own is that. Before you touch her, you have to satisfy me first. But wait a minute. Don't you think we should invite her over? I heard three sums are mind blowing. Ulama, <laughs> this is not a joke. <laughs> I don't want me to say. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Jokes apart. The truth is, I think your sisters and mom have good intentions for you. But. They don't know how to express it. They are going about it the wrong way. Just leave me alone. Is that too much to ask? They should stop interfering with my life. I'm capable of taking care of myself. I'm an adult. I know you are an adult and I know you can handle this. <sighs> but I really can't say much. Anyway, we have a little girl out there who is obviously confused about all this happening. Who cares about her? You don't know what your mother and her mom must have told her before she embarked on this journey. Hmm? Who knows your wife to be? <laughs> anyway, please, I know she must be very hungry. Let me go and serve her. Hmm? Let me serve her something to eat. I know she must be very hungry. Hey, like I said, <clears throat> get ready. Hey, it's night. <laughs> Esther, my name is Esther. Oh, Esther. Esther. Hmm. I am sure you're hungry. Have you had something to eat? No, no, not so. Okay, you will have to come with me so that you can have your bath while I get you something to eat, okay? Ah, no, Ma, just show me where the kitchen is. My mother said that when I get here, that I should cook for brother. I can prepare food for myself and for brother. Just show me the kitchen. <laughs> um, it's okay, but I don't think brother 
would love you to prepare something for him now. Okay? First things first, you will have to have your bath while I make you something to eat. Then you sleep. By tomorrow morning, brother will give you something big to go back with. Okay? Okay. So what would you love to eat? Rice? Fufu? What? <laughs> oh. Are you serious? Yes. And if he asks me to marry him now, I will. No way, girl. You guys have known each other less than a month. No. It's not just about the sex. I'm equally spending some quality time with him. You see, I have never met a man so tender, loving mm. and caring. Right about now, my ex looks like a toad beside him. I don't know what I was thinking while dating that brute. They say a girl has to kiss so many toads before meeting her Prince Charming. And I have found mine. I'm sure he's on the verge of popping the question. Mm. The only thing hindering him now is fear. Fear? Fear of what? He told me that each time he takes a girl home, his sisters and mom reject the girl. He thinks the same will happen to us. So what are you going to do about it? Well, he told me that whenever he's ready to settle down, he will take just few of his friends to the girl's house to perform the traditional rites without informing his people. Whenever he's ready to do the white wedding, he will inform them. That's the man I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I told you. I mean, I'm in support of him. It's unbecoming of his sisters and mom, really. Girl, you've got the right man. Oh, yes. I told you. Right <laughs> I'm happy for you. Thank you. So, uh, how about that lecturer, sir? What that oh, ugly looking man? Oh, this lovely man. I've got no time for that man. I need to browse. I have been talking to your sister, and uh, she made me understand that you're not in any relationship for now. Yes, I I just came out of a traumatic relationship with this guy that I never knew he was a drug pusher. I'm just off men for now. You should be thinking of settling down. It piles up quickly, you know. Yeah, I know, I know, but what can I do? Men want just one thing from a woman. And when you refuse to give it to them, they think you're not serious. I'm just tired of relationships and affairs. I want to make I want to get married. Precisely why I asked to see you. Can you remember my younger brother, Ekene? I'm sure you met him at my wedding. Yes, yes, yes. The, the banker comedian. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, yeah. You know him very well. You know he's my only brother. Mm -hmm. I do remember that during my wedding, you guys struck it off. <laughs> I wonder why you didn't push through. Actually, Both of you would have made a great couple. <laughs> I was deep in another relationship then. And I wouldn't have even considered him at that point in my life. So and now? Now I'm free. I'm free now. And I mean Ekena is a very nice guy. He will make a very great boyfriend. Helen, I'm sorry we're not talking about boyfriend, girlfriend relationships. Okay. My brother is ready to settle down. And we are so concerned with where girls swim around him. <laughs> I'm not surprised, you know. I mean, he's a very handsome guy. Which is why we are trying to select a good woman for him. And I'm sure that both of you will build a fantastic family. You both have good jobs. You're beautiful people, very easy to people to fall in love with. Are you willing to give something a try with him? 
my sister had already mentioned something like that to me. I'm, I'm aware of it. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, that's good. I am going to invite my brother over for dinner this Friday and I would love you to be there. I want to reintroduce you to. Let's start something from there. What do you think? Sure? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. So, how is Celine? Oh, she's fine. She gives me a whole lot of trouble. Helene, why? Mm. The other day you asked me about my brother. Yes, Doc. Why? Mm, some of us are his fans. Hmm, interesting. Do we really like him, don't you? Mm, I like him. He has a good job. He's handsome. He's every woman's dream. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so, why are you interested in him? Doc, why are you asking me all these questions? Can you just simply answer my question? Mm. He looks like a responsible man. At my age, I need someone to call my own, my husband that I can take care of. And you think you can make a good wife to my brother? Yes, Doc. I believe that someone like that will have a woman in his life. And people like us can only hope and dream. <laughs> okay. Mm, Doc, but you haven't told me why you're asking all these questions. <laughs> Don't worry. When the time is right, I'll let you know. Mm? Okay. Doc. You can go back to your work now. Ask me if I really meant what I said about admiring her brother. So, what did you tell her? <sighs> you know I like him. I told her yes. But you know someone like that must have a girlfriend. I asked her why she was asking. She said she would get back to me. But do you think she's thinking about introducing me to her brother? Well, I don't know. I'm not in her mind. Yes. And if I'm to say anything, I'll tell you not to get your heads all worked up. The guy in question is a banker, and not just a banker, a cute one as that. I like him. We both know this guy has a lot of girls running up and down around him. Yes. So I'm definitely sure Dr. Izini is not even thinking or saying anything close to what you were thinking. So what should I do? Anita, just get your heads off him and focus on your job. We're not going the same way. I need to go to the market. I have to cook before he returns. <laughs> Come on, girl. This thing is becoming very serious. I don't see that way. It's the normal thing girls do for their men. <sighs> Besides, I have to do that, then return back to the house before my mother comes back. Okay, oh. So Loma, my friend, has suddenly become someone's wife. <laughs> and she has to go home to make food for her husband. <laughs> but girlfriend, he has not asked you to marry him yet. Or has he paid your bride price? <sighs> I know that Ekena is a good man, but she can only determine a good man when push comes to shove. 
and he remains there first. So, I do not want him to use and dump you just as your estate. Hmm? Not to worry. Hmm? I'll be fine. Besides, Ekene says we're going out this evening. Has James told you yet? Not yet, but you guys are quite fast. Mm -hmm. Not to worry, he'll tell you. Bye, see ya. Okay, good wife and make him. Thank you. There's something I want to tell you. What is it? Uh, that will have to hold on a while. I got a call from my sister. She wants me to come over to her place. And I'd like you to go with me. So just go get ready. Let's go there. Maybe when we're back, you make the food. He wants me to go with you. What if... What if she rejects me like she rejects the other girls? There is no chance since I haven't proposed to you yet. Yes, yet. Yes. Okay. Alright dear, go get ready, yeah? Spend my whole life with you. You, oh, you know what you else will do. You and only you. You're the answer to my prayers. And yes, to the no says. And there's nothing I won't do to be beside you. I want to spend my whole life with you. You, 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 you know what else will do. To my prayers and yes to the no says and there's nothing I won't do to be beside you. I want to spend my whole life with you. You, 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 you know what else will do. You and only you. You're the answer to my prayers and yes to the no says and there's nothing I won't do to be beside you. To spend my whole life with you. You, 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 you know what else will do. You and only you. Oh. Hello, Auntie. Hello. Where are you now? I'm about stepping out now. Okay, see, you have to hurry up because he's already on his way. He'll be here any minute. Oh, okay, I'll soon be there. Alright, love, I'm waiting. Yes, to the no says and there's awesome. nothing I won't do to be beside you. I want to spend my whole life with you. Taxi! Yes, I'm looking for something. Taxi, are you closed? No, I'm just coming. <laughs> oh no, what's your plan? I should die walking, isn't it? <laughs> Please, I want to go and rest. I'm tired. Good evening, ma. Yes, Anita, how are you? Fine, ma. I got a nice shift today. Yes, ma. When you close tomorrow morning, pass through my house. Why, ma? Because I want to go somewhere. Where, ma? Must you know everything? <laughs> Good. Come to my house, I will not kill you. Okay. All right. Fine. All right, girls, see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. 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 What do you think we're going to? How will I know? We'll find you. Come to me. Please, I'm going to Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Who is she? Um, she's my girlfriend, Uloma. Meet my other sister. It's my pleasure to meet you, ma'am. Hmm. Same here. <laughs> You're welcome. Come in. Thank you.
Eken, what the hell do you think you're doing? I don't understand. I asked you to come for something very important. I didn't ask you to bring any sniff of a girl to my house. Sister, please. I will take any kind of insult from you, but I will not have you insult me and my women again. I will go anywhere with anybody I please. I will marry whoever I want to. And there's nothing you, Mama, or Izine can do about it. Low down your voice. There are people out there. If you don't want me to shout, then do not insult me and my women. How would you feel if I called your husband a lousy fool? Are you out of your mind? Maybe I should ask you that exact question. Anyways, I made dinner for three people. I invited Helen over so that you both can meet. I didn't bargain for another person. Well, who is Helen? You remember Selena? My maid of honor at my wedding. She's our younger sister. I know that she will suit you perfectly. That's why I want you two to meet. Uh, let's start something from here and end this blind search of a wife. Sister, I'm not looking for a girlfriend. Neither am I looking for a wife. You see that woman out there? She's the one I want to marry. Thank you for your effort. But she's the one I want to get married to. This woman in us. Ekene, you will marry the woman we have appointed for you. It is for your own good. It's a lie. It is for your selfish reasons. You're looking for someone you can control, someone you will back at and they will shiver. Someone you will talk and she will have her tails in between her legs. This one is not like that. You see that girl? She's fire. If you give it to her, she will give it. Thunder and brimstone. Hey, hey. And you have to accept it. Hey! We thought that those girls charmed you. Now I know better. You see this one? This is the one who has charmed you. How can you reject a girl from a wealthy home like Helen to something that dog vomited somewhere? Ijibuche. I'd rather settle for a dog's vomit than endure your humiliation and insults anymore. You see that girl? She's the one I'm getting married to. And you must accept my decision. By the way, Meanwhile, I hadn't proposed to her yet. I was waiting for the right time. But since it has come to this, I will do it tonight. In fact, right now. I like it. It's 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 so, so, so. How I love got to flow, flow, flow. And how she be living for me. Cause I like I'm so, 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 so. How I love got to flow, flow, flow. And how she be living for me. Cause I like I'm so, 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 so. I heard your voice. Yes, I hope there's no problem. There's no issue. Yeah, I, 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 I wanted to do this later tonight, but my sister just convinced me to do it now. Will you just do me the pleasure of being the mother of my kids? Be my wife, please. Yes. Yes? Yes. Thank yes. you. Boy. Thank you. What are you doing? Has the madness come upon you? What the hell? You don't know what you've just done. You will pay for this insults. I bet you. Doc, you haven't told me where we are going to. <laughs> you told me you liked my brother, isn't it? Yes, I like him. And you want to settle down. Am I correct? Yes. Fine. I want to take you to my brother's house. And I want him to see you and let's see if he might be interested in you. Hmm, Jesus. You want to take me to your brother? And you didn't tell me about it. Telling you about it, why? What will happen? I could have just got into the house, freshen up. You know, I'm just coming back from work and I look terrible. Mm-hmm. Yes, you do look terrible. 
But I think it's the best. Because my brother, hmm. if he sees you like this mm -hmm. and he gets to know that you are just coming out from work looking this beautiful, I'm telling you, he will just approve of you. He loves hardworking women. Hmm? So don't worry about that. Oh God, but I'm feeling nervous. So you're actually going to introduce me to your brother? Hey, Agam, I can't believe this. What can't you believe? I'm just surprised. You want to settle down? Yes. My brother needs a wife, and I think you'll make a good wife for him. But I so, don't think um, I'm that kind of girl that he would like. Who says yeah. that? It's just a normal human being, a normal boy, like every other person. So it's, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. All right? I don't know if you would like Don't worry. Why didn't you ask her yourself? What did you say? That girl opened that gut that she called a mouth and was telling me that she's your wife. Excuse me? <laughs> Do you have any problem with that? I don't understand you. Where and when did you see that one? that you have given her a ring already. Soon she'll be my wife like you already know. The earlier you accept that, the better for everybody. Ekene, that is a very big lie. You lie. Oh, Ekene, so you want to make a fool of everybody in the family, isn't it? Well, don't worry. Sister and mom hear this. You can go ahead and call mama. And tell her. As for sister, she knows already. She is right in front of sister in her house. So you can go ahead and tell Mama what you want to tell her, because it's a settled case already. You are joking. Ekene, you are joking. You are a joker. You're all invited. Next week, I'm going to see her people. So tell Mama. Felicia! <laughs> I hope she did not do anything funny in there. No, she didn't. I am in for a serious business. Never seen this kind of people before. Can you imagine 
Ekena was telling me that he's going to the girl's parents' place by next week uh, to ask them for the church marriage rights, procedures, and, more, and all those nonsense. Can you imagine? Isn't it? It's either that boy is going mad, or whichever charm that girl is using on him is very strong. I mean, strong indeed. Because this is not the Ekene we used to know. This one is a total stranger. We are breaking it. Sister, we have to stop him and stop him real fast. If not, he will go and marry that girl. <laughs> that girl, we don't know where, she, where she's from. Isn't it the most annoying part? This thing happened here in my sitting right before me and the poor girl i had arranged for him you know who that is helen my maid of honor younger sister helen that beautiful girl isn't it you can imagine eh? isn't it i have spoken to this girl about ekene and she was willing to give him a chance just imagine marrying into that family. They are wealthy. They have everything. Have you forgotten that their father was once a minister? I know. But the idiot I called brother proposed to the she monkey she brought to my house. <sighs> oh no. I can just eh? fear Kananya Temule. He put shame on me. <laughs> Sister, do you know that? <laughs> I even called Mama and I told her what happened. She now said that she sent a kene, a girl, a kene practically chased her out from his house. Can you beat that? <laughs> Isn't it? I think I've had enough. I am going to carry Mama tomorrow morning to the city. I want a kene to look at all of us in the face and tell us where this madness is coming from. I want to see where he will get that courage to face us. And by tomorrow morning, if that girl is still in that house, hey, I will so deal with her that she will not forget me in a hurry. <laughs> Believe me, <laughs> sister, you've never heard half of it. Do you know that she was telling me eh, she's a Kenneth's wife? And she was saying that wearing a Kenneth boxers and shirt. Can you beat that? Who do you blame? You don't need to blame the girl. It's a Kenneth that you will blame. It's the cause of all this insolence. Oh, you boxers. Na singlet. And she was telling you that she's a Kenneth's wife. That girl has guts. You like them? Yeah, they're colorful. Mm -hmm. This dream. Flower bees inspired. Oh, really? Can't you see the flowers? Yeah, different colors. She know this, she know that. As a matter of fact, I like that. Now she be my one and only. My super baby. She did this how, she did that how. But I cannot leave her now. She be living for me Cause I like him so, 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 so I like him so How I love could it flow, flow, flow Anyhow she be living for me Cause I like him so I like him so They're here in full squad Now remember we have a battle, but you have to stay strong. We'll get over this, okay? Don't fret. <laughs> um, it is you I should be worried about. Not me. <laughs> Baby, trust me. I can hold my own. You and only you. 
That's my baby. You know, you know she says, okay. Your faces are like this. Did anybody die? Mama? Isn't it? It is obvious that you do not recognize that there is somebody standing right in front of you. I can see you have a habit of invading into people's privacy. And that I do not like. By the way, who invited you into this bedroom? Get up, go pack your things. It is high time you left this house. I hate people who overstep their boundaries. And right about now, that is what you're doing. <laughs> Touch me again and I'll beat you blue black. Ah, what did you say? I didn't hear you, what did you say? What is going on here? But for the sake of clarity, and so nobody will blame me for what I'm about to do, I said if you touch me again, I will beat you blue black. And I'm touching you, stand up! Touch me again! Touch me again! Will you touch me again? Is it that you are carrying bottle for? Eh? You are holding bottle for every next. I told her not to touch me again. And she went ahead to slap me on my leg. And who invited you people into this bedroom? Excuse me? The last I remember, you are not paying for this house. So why are you here? Why are you here? Whatever you do in my husband's house is none of your businesses. Well, I'm sure the person I'm in his bedroom doesn't mind. Chelo, you open that drainage you call a mouth and talk to me like that. Do you know who you are talking to? Emandem? Do you know? And like I said earlier, I am not in the habit of repeating myself. Sister, the young woman has made herself clear. Leave her room. Boy, I got that Are you supporting this girl over your sister? This is the girl I'm going to spend the rest of my life with, not you. Okay? She has said, and I am saying, Leave this room. Have I ever come to your houses to barge into your rooms? Or have I ever chased anybody out of your houses? I don't understand. What's the meaning of this? Do you know you're trespassing? Boy, 
We are trespassing. Yes. And she said you should leave. Leave. Okay, we're leaving. He said you should leave. Yes. We're going. Yes. Oh my God! I never knew they could be this scared. <laughs> she was shaking. She really. Your elder sister was also shaking. I was like, is that sister? Ada? I was even scared myself at some point. I didn't even believe it myself. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> this life! I didn't even get these things. I didn't get them from It people. was necessary. I had to source for this. It was necessary to put them in their place. <laughs> I just acted like one rat girl. I was like, hey. <laughs> Do you want to kill me? Why do you want to kill your mother, Ichibum? Or Gini? Mama, I have not told you I want to kill you. I have no such plan, so I don't want to kill you. But if you have decided to die, the only thing I owe you is a befitting burial. How well will you shut up? You're looking for one. Boy, I said you should shut up. What is wrong with you? You disgraced me in my own house because of that girl. Mama here brought a girl from the village. You threw the girl out of your house. Ezine brought another person. You walked Ezine out of your house. What has come over you? I ask you, boy. Who and what do you think you are? All we are trying is to fix your life for you and you are misbehaving. Oh, wow. huh? When will you get senses into your brain? What do you think I am? 17? Or you think I'm a toddler that you toss around at will? Is that it? You want to take decisions over my life for me? Listen, let me tell you, I won't have you do this to me. I am old enough, old enough to take my decisions. That's why a reputable bank found me worthy to head a department in that bank. Henceforth, I will not have anything to do with any decision you take. I will decide who I live with, who I stay with, and how I run my life. I allowed you meddle in my affairs before because I wasn't ready to start a family. But now that I'm ready to build a home, I will not have you dictate to me how to live. Ada, did I choose your husband for you? Did I? And you, Ezine? I wasn't there when you met that idiot you were dating. That lousy drunkard that you kept and feed. A man that's not even responsible for himself. And you sit here and talk to me about sense of judgment? Really? Don't try it again. And let me warn all of you. Let this be the last time you bring any girl my way. I am not here to sample girls. Girls are not commodities. They are not groceries. You walk into a supermarket and pick. I have found a woman I want to marry and she's the one I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. If you don't like it, all of you can bloody well go to hell. Oh, is that why you started traditional uh, marriage uh, proceedings without consulting anybody? Oh. It is an abomination! Oh, sorry, Ibia. Eh? If you like, you attend. If you don't, you sit your butts out back in that house. There is no way it is written anywhere in any law that I have to go for my traditional marriage with my mother and sister. I'm going to bed there. Hey! Ekene, you are a fool! You are a very huge fool! Why is it? Ezinle, if you open your mouth and call me a fool in my house, I swear to God, I will slap you! You will not know what hits you. And I am saying to you again that you are a fool! You are a big fool! Boy, what have you done? What have you done? You raised your hand and slapped your elder sister. And I will slap anybody who raises her voice to call me a fool in my house. What is wrong with all of you? And when any moon on see, don't you have sense? Can you not see you're driving me nuts? What the fuck is wrong with you? If anybody does it again, you go to the other side of me. Oh. Itogo, you've grown. After learning two, three, four letter words, you have arrived. We eat it. Huh? Isn't it was right? Ekenechuku, you're a big fool. Sister Abokonami, a fool. Abokonami, a fool again. Get out of my house, I'll leave you. Eh? 
Get out of my house! Eh? Nah. You are sending your mother out of your house. If you don't get out of this house, I will throw you out of this house. Get out of my house! Mama, 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 calm down. Mama, relax. It's him now. Oh, oh, got your pocket. Get out of my house. Get back in. Oh, so I'm going. Every man. I'll give you a minute. This one, not Wala. And we're in a good room. You see? You get in my house. I'm going to get in. Let's go. Now get, now get, now get. You. You think you can out? I can survive. You think you can survive without? I will survive without you. Really? Boy, I give you two weeks. I give you two weeks to come running back to us. I get it. If you see me coming back to you, then know it's your son. I just did it. If I get out of my house. Really? Out. Let me see you here again. It's yours. You think I'll let you run my life for me? Dumb fox. She know this. She know that. As a matter of fact, I like that. Now she. Tell me what to do, what to eat, what to wear, where to go, who to see, who not to see. I've never been given an opportunity to take any decision for myself. It's as though I'm a vegetable. I can't do anything. I'm not capable of handling my own affairs. No, I'm a full grown man. I should be allowed to do things myself. If it fails, then it becomes my business. It's okay, darling. It's, it's okay. Calm down. At least you've told them all, so it's fine. To my prayers and yes to the no says and there's nothing I won't do to be beside On Koko Robley Phil, eh? There's no kind of insult you did not give on us. Okwana Agwai, ne Agwai. The girl he said he wants to marry broke a bottle and threatened to stab Ezine and I. Josiano, is that not what we're talking about? Eh? Uncle Wajuzian, the kind of girl that will break a bottle and threaten a fellow woman. Eh? Is she not a club girl? Is it not in the club that you pick such girls? Tunekenia, <sighs> that's not the only thing. Do you know that Kene slapped Ezine left, right, and center? He wanted to dislocate her job. Oh, no, no, no. 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 I couldn't believe it. Can you imagine that Ekene walked us out of his house and threatened to cut his shot, he cut us off. Why? Because we tried to advise him on the kind of girl to marry. On we fed in Germany. In this land, before a man marries a woman, Ndi Befa will go and investigate the woman's background mm -hmm. to be sure she's good enough. Hurry up. Open your mind. Ekene is getting married. Did he tell you anything? As the head of the family, on my face, I bought you, Wally. I've heard you. I will call again, Chukun. And find out where all this is coming from. <laughs> you push your stake, Cam. Hmm? I will talk to him. We are all women. We are all women, and we are bothered. And actually, look at one each year. We don't want our name to be lost. Because if anything happens to a Kenne, he's the only child. I bought Yanni a front and support. What do you do? God forbid. What will happen to him? I will talk to him. Please. Nam, please talk to him because he's the only son. If we look for a Kenne and we don't find him, we're finished. 
You know the girls of these days, you know how they are. Hey! All these girls he brings around, all they want to do is marry a Kene. They are after his money. They will marry him, then they will kill him and take over everything. But never allow him to happen. Then better talk to him. No, talk, talk to him more. I will. Oh. Uncle, please. You need to be first about this. Can I lead you to my Hi, Alo. 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 And you do a lie. That kind of slap. I don't know what is wrong with boy. I'm going to be finished here. A kinetic slap is in the. Honestly. Left, right, and center. And said that he cut, in short, he had cut all of us off because of a woman. Hello? Hey, can I you? It is me, Mbakwe. Whoa. Uncle Mbakwe, greetings. I was even meaning to call you. Since you don't want to remember us, we decided to remember you now. Yeah, I was going to call you really because I want to come over to the village. It's very important. Bam! That means we are thinking along the same lines. Because I was actually planning to call you to come and see me. But now that you called, please, I want to see you. Fine, I already have plans of coming to see you, Uncle. Please, don't fail. It is important you come. I will, sure will. <sighs> Is that the way to welcome somebody to your house? Mind your business. I wasn't talking to you. By the way, why did you bring her to this compound? Eh? After all she did to us. We came to see you and for her to know this place and for us to see Uncle Mbakwe. Hmm. So we can start talking about the marriage. Please. You, a boy in Dewa, you threw me out of your house. Okay? What are you doing here? What are you doing in my own house? Because leave. Point of correction. This house is my father's house. Ah. And as the only son, it is more of my house than it is yours. Do you know who builds the house? Please, take this woman out of this compound. After the way you treated us, you cut my daughters and I off because of this woman. Okay? Biko, get out of my compound. I have a right. I am not interested. Give him a metriaka. Don't come him down. He's my son. I can argue with him. He's none of your business. Yes! And as I'm talking, you're doing eye like that, like that. Rubbish! Because see, look, you people get out of my company. Carry your motor and leave. In eternal paradise. I'm not interested. Inuge, I'm not interested. Come. I hope you don't take these things to heart. I know Mama, she's my mother. Just don't worry. She might go on with this initially, but eventually she has no choice but to accept you. Darling, your wife is strong at heart. Listen, I made up my mind to marry you. The very first day you told me all about what Mama and your sisters have been doing to the ladies you bring. So, I am ready. I came prepared. There's nothing to worry about. <laughs> Carry your car go. Carry Uncle 
Don't come back with. Yeah. Good evening. Okay. <laughs> you okay. have just you have come, eh? Yes, I just came now. I went to the house to see my mother and decided to. I was on my way to your place. Oh, mm -hmm. oh I see. It's part of the reason that I've come. Eh. Yeah. Okay. Is that something we'll stand on the road and discuss? Let's get inside. Okay, Uncle Peter. No. Okay, give me one question. Uncle Uncle, you know how people say that um, when a man is old enough, he needs a woman by his side as a companion. And he who finds a wife, he said, has found a good thing. So I have come today with Uloma, the girl I want to marry, to introduce her to you and the family. <coughs> found a very beautiful woman. Thank you, Uncle. And you also, you did the right thing by bringing her to me. Thank you, Uncle. Good. Now, how are you? Very well, sir. Good. Uh, you are welcome in my house. Thank you. Where are you from? I'm um, from Olu. Olu? Yes, sir. Olu. I know Olu so well. <laughs> I'm a Olu of woman. Hello? Who is your father? Dr. Uzodim Maibe, sir. Dr. Uzodim Maibe? Yeah. <laughs> it's a very small world. Dr. Uzodim Maibe is a very good friend of mine. Uncle Lady, serious? We were schoolmates. We were together at Hope Waddell. <laughs> He's a very good man. Who put the calabar? I'm telling you. Woo. My daughter, you are welcome. True. You are welcome to my house. Thank you so much, sir. That's true. <laughs> wow. Yes. Uh, but I heard you broke a bottle for your mother-in-law and your sisters-in-law. Where did you learn that from? Um, Uncle, we were just acting. Ekena and I discussed that before I carried out that act. He had told me that they would stand against us. So I did it just to make them know that we are serious. Yes, sir. Which is part of the reason I came. Uncle, you know the number of women I've brought home that they have rejected. You were the one I always came to for complaint. You don't have to say much. Your mother and your sister that came here to complain how you slapped his in name and chased them out of the house and said that you cut off the links, any link with them. And above all, that you go for your traditional marriage without inviting them. Is that true? Uncle, there was no way I would do that. Okay? I slapped Izine because she... She first tried to drag Ulam out of the house. Out of my house. Because they didn't want me to marry her. Upon that, she called me a fool. Irrespective of anything, I am a man and I will have no woman. Call me a fool in my own house. You've spoken like a man. Yes, Uncle. And come next week, Saturday, we are intending to go see her people. That's part of the reason I came to see you. There's no way I'll go on that kind of journey without you and my family. I need Ezine. I need Ada. I need my mother. I want you to help me talk with them. Let us make peace. Because I've decided Uloma is the one I'm getting married to, whether they like it or not. And she has to be part of this family. So just talk to them. Let's make peace and let peace reign in this family. Oh, would I have natural? There must be peace. And I will speak with your mother. Thank you, Uncle. Thank you, Uncle. You are Thank welcome. You. you are welcome. You might not have agreed with the choices he made before. But this time, I think Ekede has made the right choice. Ulama here. He's the daughter of my very good friend and schoolmate, Dr. Zodim Mibe from Oro. Anybody that comes from Ibe's lineage must be a good person. 
And I believe. Well, I'm here. He's a good girl, also. As for what happened in the past between you, your daughter, and Ekene, <laughs> let me say that Ekene is trying to assert himself as a man. Oh, yes. And the right to choose someone he will live and spend the rest of his life with is solely his. So let us cheat the sword and allow peace to reign in this family, please. Bikono, Bikono. Mama, I am... I am sorry that coming into Ekene's life has brought you so much pain. I love Ekene. I love him with all my heart. He's the best thing that's happened to me in my entire life. I am compelled to love anyone who is associated with him too because I cannot say I love him and not love his mother and his elder sisters I promise to be a good wife to him and a good daughter-in-law too you promise? I promise I, I, I promise mama yes mama please I'm sorry I'm sorry, Mama. You are my mother. I have no mother. Isn't there another for my sisters? I have no other sisters. And if you want me to be that only son who will make this family proud, all I am begging is for you to support me to marry Uloma. She's a good girl. That way we will have peace. And, 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 and Mama, I, I promise I will never raise a bottle again, for it is not who I am. You promise? I yes. promise. Oh, my God, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And you must come for my wedding, no? Oh, boy, my God. Oh, 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 my God. You see that slap you gave me that you will pay heavily. Uh, Name your price and I will pay. Please, please, please. Don't allow me to pick another bottle here. Uh, don't let me pick another bottle here. Hey, when you broke that bottle, eh? I thought as in the here was already dead. Hey, Bubama. I can imagine a piece. <laughs> when I did that, I thought I had caught myself. Huh. I've seen some <laughs> bad boys do it before, you know, on TV, and I had to follow suit. <laughs> you did it so well that I thought you were an expert. <laughs> really? I yeah. tell you, once you graduate, you yeah. join Nollywood. <laughs> you will make an excellent actor. Yeah, so, it's I know so. <laughs> you are this boy. Hmm. What? Hmm. You don't have respect. For? Hmm. Oh, yeah, you. Mm. Come. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come, let's go to the kitchen. This girl is oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This boy, my husband, has finished all the cooked food in my house. I don't have anything to feed my husband. Sister, I don't know why he's been eating. Get up. He's eating too much. He's eating too much. He's eating too much. Oh, Jenny, what are you doing? Hey, this is what? There's this friend of mine, very handsome. He said he's looking for a medical doctor to marry. Should I introduce him to you? Hmm. I hope it's not like him. 
don't even mention that name when we are talking about prospects. <laughs> I didn't really think any name to we get it. But you people showed me Pepe. Oh. You people really showed me Pepe. We are your big sister, so we are protecting you. Mm. We were protecting you. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> nah, eh? you're tired from washing. Why don't you leave these things? When your wife comes back, she will wash the clothes for you. Ah, ah, mama. Pity the young girl now. You know when she's done helping me with chores in this house, she'll still have to go to her mother to help her too. Ah, oh, her mother. Talking about her mother, when do we get to see her? You know, we really need to hurry up, Paul, because I want to bring this girl in. Eh? <laughs> oh, what? Oh, okay, why are you laughing? Mama? Eh? Oh, I say. I remember how you fought me because of Uloma. Now you cannot wait to have her in your house. Eh, that was then now. On a mother had a amazing mistake. It was a mistake. You see, you only get to know people when you bring them close to you. Then you get to know that they are good. She's a beautiful and fine girl and I like her. You're right, Mama. Mm. That's true. So, when, when are we going to see her people? Soon. I, I initially planned for us to go this weekend. But the father is not in the country. They travel to the UK. He'll be back uh, next week. So we put it for next week, Saturday. Uh, yeah. Yes. So have you finished all the arrangements? Is there anything we can help you mm -hmm. with? Or... There's nothing you can help me do, Zoike. Everything that needs to be done has been done. Most especially we have told our uncles in the village to get ready. That's what matters to me. So come next week, Saturday. Hey, I can't wait. I cannot wait. You cannot wait for me to get married or for you to have Loma's daughter-in-law. <laughs> Is it not the same thing? But I give one Isika. If he met Loma. That's the kind of woman I wanted for you. Hey, go go. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that finally you have uh, liked Loma. My him. Before, uh, it's just that the likeness has increased. I, I like all of them. It's just condition. <laughs> Mama, we are going to see you far away. We go to Nanko because we are going Where? This Saturday, the father is coming in, so we scheduled for on Saturday. <laughs> you know what? What? When I look at you, I marvel. You marvel? Why? Do you remember the night we introduced to Loma to you? Come off that. And how you refused to go out? <laughs> and. Look at how fast everything has progressed. Yes. Here I am seated. Talking about accompanying you to her parents' house to commence marriage proceedings. I mean, everything is fast-paced. This is what I call a whirlwind romance. A whirlwind? <laughs> Come off it, bro. We've not for three months, he and I. Precisely. Which man dates a woman for three months and decides to marry her? Hey. I've seen shorter liaisons, okay? I mean, then what's the point anyways? I thought about it. We're compatible. Mm -hmm. I love her so much. She does seem. So why wait? You know, I must tell you the truth. There was only one thing on my mind when I decided to do what I did. And that was to get you... Getting a girl who will help you surmount all your problems until you're able to get one... I mean, a decent one you can marry. <laughs> That must be the joke of a century. Who else can be more appropriate than a woman who makes my heart beat fast? The sound of her voice sends shivers down my spine. Each time I think about her, I just see myself walking down the aisle with her arms in mine. Uh, so uh, come back. Come, come, come back from Wonderland <laughs> before you get a sack. <laughs> Not to worry. I'll stop on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man, for that intro. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> wow. Woo! Let me see your miserable next year again. Fast and do good chicken opportunities. I do what are you still doing here? No, what are you still doing here? Now pick those your miserable go go round, whatever you call it, and leave now. You don't want to leave, eh? 
Wait for me. I'm coming. like that. Really? Oh, hello, babe. Babe. Is there anything the matter? Yes. Uloma just called me now to tell me that Ekene and his people came to our house for the traditional marriage introduction. And her father refused them. Why? I don't know. I think I have to see her. Okay? Hello? Ekene? What is this I'm hearing? What do we call that? Class consciousness or what? Rubbish. I think at this point we owe some people an apology. Did we offend Dr. Udi? I mean, why should we apologize to him? I am not talking about Dr. Ibe. I am, I am talking about those girls you and your daughters rejected when they can brought them. I was not the only one that rejected them all. It's called family rejection. Our family did not reject anybody. It was you and your daughters. Okay. So which way forward now? The way forward is that we should call that over again and apologize to her. She has a strong spirit. Strong spirit indeed. Well, let me start going since you don't want to accept my suggestion. But he has not said no. I understand English. What I do not understand is the statement that he is compelled to say no. What does that mean? Is he going to marry his daughter? He's spoken highly of me, which means he likes me. I understand the exam part. I, for one, will not have my daughter compromise her exams on account of marriage. So, who or what is compelling him to say no? Well, I am of the opinion that you've taken this matter to heart. And I don't think it's necessary. Insofar as I'm concerned, the man is bothered about his wealth. He told you that Uloma is his only child and his heir. He's only concerned about who he will bequeath his wealth to. 
And whoever marries Uloma gets everything he has worked for. In other words, he's suspecting me to be a gold digger? I don't want to put it in those words. For Christ's sake, I'm a working class man. I'm a banker. I work hard for my money. What does he have that he thinks I cannot work hard to make? All I want is just to love his daughter and marry her. That is it. I'm not after his wealth. He doesn't say it that way, does he? If that's how he says it, then nobody will marry the girl. It has to be someone with a deep pocket. <laughs> that's rubbish. I mean, that's bad. That. Is it actually about money or a man she'll be happy spending the rest of her life with? Is that it? I tell you something, Yekene. Without money, there is no happiness. Actually, I'm not anymore about this Yemi guy. Not that I have anything against Yoruba guys, but you know how they are. Like I can have pointed out the other time. This guy is dependent on you. You are the one paying all the bills. Isn't it? Can't you see that this guy doesn't have anything tangible doing for a living? Are you willing to cope with all that? Sister, I am 32 years old. In the next few years, I'll be an old maid hanging on the shelf. Fine. Yemi is a Yoruba boy. Yeah. I don't have anything with that. Anything wrong with, about that. I'm cool. If I am not appreciated here, let me go to where people love me. Sister, sincerely, I don't have any issue with him being a Yoruba guy. He's, he's, he's a Nigerian, and that is cool. What does he do? He's into government uh, contracts. Uh, yes, um, I, I know that uh, the few ones he's been doing uh, uh, has not been yielding positive results. But I, I know that he has done some in the past, and of course I believe they will yield fruit positively, even if they do not. Is from a rich family, the only son. And for eventually the father will die soon and then he's going to inherit all the property. Even if he does not inherit the property, I do not care. Sincerely, I am not after his money. I am a medical doctor and I earn good income. We can live on that. Isn't it? That is not good enough. You don't get married on speculations. What if anything happens to your practice tomorrow? What if his father refuses to die? And what if government contracts dry up? Can't you see there are many if? Sister. Sister, I want to get married. You are in your home with your children. I want to have mine too. Yes. This is the first time in a long while someone asked me to marry him and meant it. So this one, I'm not letting it go. Since it seems like you've made up your mind, I can't stand against you. Thank you. What is bothering me most now is about Ekene's issue. I don't know how to go about it. There is no issue there. What do you mean? Yes, because <laughs> that man will say yes. Obviously. That is every woman's dream. Yeah, I've, I heard about that man in medical school that is a very tough man. Oh. But my brother is every man's dream for his daughter. That one is solid, it's not an issue. There's nothing there to worry about. No, 
Hey, young woman. Good morning, darling. Where are you going again? Huh? Do you still live in this house or you've turned it to a, a stop over motel for you? I don't understand, Daddy. You don't understand? You don't understand? You think I'm blind? You think I don't see? Huh? You, 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 you leave very early and return very late? That is if you care to return at all. Huh? You jump around with that young man who came here to inquire about you the other time. Look, let me tell you. That man is not your husband. And he will never be. Oh yes. Look, when you are ready to marry, we will look for a man with the same pedigree with you. Yes. So if I were you, I will start breaking the link that bond two of you together. Because that's the right thing to do. Yeah, but my, my love... Just shut up. Did I ask for your opinion? I'm just trying to... You're trying to do what? I don't want to hear from you. Look at you. You can't even give me a son. Yes. Now that I have a daughter that I will give her to somebody that can be my heir, you are here interfering. Nonsense. Did you hear that? Did you hear what your dad just said to me? Because of you. Oh, God. To my prayers and yes to the no says and there's nothing I won't do to be beside you. Back with good evening, sir. Hi, Praise. Sir. Is this you? <laughs> it's me. <laughs> You're not looking bad at all. Who? Oh, no. uh, I was talking about you today. That we owe you an apology. Oh, Day. You don't owe me an apology. <laughs> See, oh. Day, I've learned that God is the only one that can give one true happiness. A man can give you the happiness. Yes. So he don't owe me an apology. Oh. Only God that can give one true happiness. They I almost died of heartbreak. <sighs> no. I cannot do anything like that. Eh? Did you in any way engage in a fight with him? No, Uncle. I'm just coming from his mother's house now. She just confirmed that she and her daughters do not want me to get married to their son. <sighs> they did not mention that to me. She can you just came here to tell me that, to tell me about your marriage proposal he had with you and the possible marriage rights. Uncle, maybe they are right. Maybe I'm not good enough for him. What crime did I commit? Because I'm from Owerri. Is it because I'm from Owerri, Uncle? <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Eh? I'm sorry about that. I will invite Ekene so I can talk with him. But just know that sometimes bad things happen for good things to prevail. Eh? Why be at tears, huh? It's okay. It's all right, don't it? It's okay. Day, 
Now I believe what you told me back then. That sometimes bad things happen for good things to come. And indeed. <laughs> it is evident. Yes. Yeah. Um, then I'll come to your house later to give you my invitation. Ah! Oh! You are married? Yeah. Actually, it's my wife's wedding. I'm true with my traditional wedding. <laughs> hey! Congratulations, Neo. Thank you. Congrats. Very much. Thank you. How? Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Do you know what you told me this morning? That when it's time for me to get married, he will give me someone from the same pedigree. <laughs> what kind of nonsense is that? Like seriously? So, what did he say to you? Did you agree to all that? He thinks he's the only one who can sound like um, a dictator. He hasn't seen stubbornness yet. I will marry who I want. And if he refuses, I will run away with her career. <laughs> Baby, you are right, it's your life, but so what's this man's problem? I don't know. In all honesty, I don't know. I have no clue this problem with Bethany. But I will ask my mom to beg on my behalf. And if he refuses, then he should get ready for the biggest fight he's ever experienced in his life. Oh, I will marry who gives me happiness. Not one stuffed up idiot he would manufacture from his, um, his clique of wealthy fools. Babe, it hasn't got into fights, but anyways, it's your life. Babes, you have bad mouth though. Don't tell me you're learning from me. I haven't even started yet. <laughs> I'm so pissed off. I'm really angry. Anyway, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Um, because can I can't call him that his car is stopped somewhere. Mm. I think it's faulty. So I have to pick him up and take him to his office. Okay, then let's go. All right, bye. Mama, eh? I came to thank you and your family especially because <laughs> if I had married the Kini, I wouldn't have been where I am today. I just want to say thank you very much. Uh, you know, I, I, I tried though. Honestly, I tried to tell Ekene to marry you, but you know how men are. Uh, uh, I, 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 I told him that someone that can take care of a hotel can actually take care of a home. Mano. Uh, it's okay, Mama. Um, Mama, here. This is my wedding invitation. And Mama, I would be so glad if you would honor this invitation. Please. Don't worry. I will send my driver to come and pick you. But that is your brother. No, no, no. no. That's not my brother. That's my driver. <laughs> hey. And he will come and pick you, not with this. Another. With another? Yes. Hi. Hey. Is he from the hotel? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mama, uh, Mama, I'll be on my way now. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, Mama, take care of yourself. I will. Thank you. Bye. See you. <laughs> okay. See you. Do you still work at the hotel? No, Mama. Uh, yeah. I want to make it. I want to this girl with future. I want to make it. No way future. Just because I complained once. Listen, baby, I have made my decision. 
And nothing can change that. Listen. When I get home, I will talk to my mother to speak with my dad about this. I believe she's going to have him change his mind. Maybe that won't be necessary. Why do you... Why do you say that? Or what do you mean? What's the use? He's your father. He has made his decision. I don't think there's anything anybody can do to make him change that. So why fight? It is my life, not his. I am the one who is caught in the middle. When he chose to marry my mother, did anyone stand in his way? Why does he want to wreck my happiness? He has said that we are not from the same class. And maybe he's right. Maybe you should look for someone of the same societal stratum as you. Oh, please, Ekene. I do not care about social standings or background. <sighs> Darling, you are my life. You are my everything. It is you that I love. And no one, no one can change that. If my father refuses to allow us to get married, I will abscond with you. Yes. You're not serious. I am ready to run away with you. Nothing I won't do to be beside you. I want to spend my whole life with you. You, 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 you. You know what else will do. My father is really unfair. What is he doing to me? my heritage if I marry you. <laughs> uh, uh, Yemi, I do not think he's serious. Uh, it's just a threat. I, I, I feel he wants to test your feet to see whether you're serious or not. Eh? Uh, he can't do that. Uh, baby, yeah, you don't know my father. My father is the most wicked person I've ever seen in this world. He would do exactly what he has said. <laughs> is that why you're crying? I don't get it. Okay, if your father cuts you off, can't you fend for yourself and stand on your own? Ah, uh, baby. See, you don't know how long I've waited for, for, for this inheritance. And if my father is as wealthy as he is, then I don't have to work all my life. Yes. Do you, do you know that my father is the chairman of many companies in this country? And I will now lose all my inheritance because of you. You don't know how painful. You, mean, you, know, you cannot be serious. You must be ridiculous. I, I want to understand. Do you mean to tell me that all this is why you've not been planning for yourself? You're waiting for your father to die first so you can inherit all his money? Are you serious? It is my right. What I will do now is I will go and play with my mother, and she's the only one that can change his mind. Because this, 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 this money, this money must not pass me by. It must not pass me by. Yeah. Fine. Um, I think we can do that first. Um, uh, for you to sit down here and start crying like a child, just go and talk to your mother. I think that is better. So we can solve this whole thing. Please, baby, pray for me so that when my mother talk to him, he will give me my inheritance. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Oshin. Money for you. She was here. She was here to brag about her oil company husband. Eh? Mommy made a mistake. She would have come here earlier before now. Let me push her out of this compound. You would have pushed her out? Yes. I would tell her that she's not the only one whose husband works in an oil company. Are you thinking what I'm thinking now? Mama, what are you thinking? Uh, about Ezine. You know she's not happy. In short, I, I'm just thinking of what 
Mazi Mbakwen said the other day. And what was that? That's, you know, we've offended a lot of girls in the quest to find a wife for a Kenny. Don't you think so? I'll call my bullet nemesis. Name me what? Please, Mama, don't go there. So, how was the exam today? Very well, Mom. Good to hear. You must be very tired. Just tell me what you want to have for a lunch. I want to fix it myself. While you go in there and freshen up. Mom, I want to talk to you. Talk to me? About what? It is about Ekene and I. Oh, well, I'm not again. What is it about you and Ekene? Mother, please, I, I want you to help me talk to Daddy to reconsider his stand. I love Ekene so much, please. And he's the one I want to marry. Loma, how can you talk like this? Tell me, is Ekene the only man in this world? Can't you see better men out there? There is no better man out there than Ekene. Mother, please. I, I love him. He's the man after my heart. Besides, when he gave me this ring, why did you say anything? Why are you people refusing us now? Nobody is refusing Ekene. It's just that your father thinks he's not the right man to inherit his wealth. I am not interested in his wealth. He can keep his money. Oh, mother, if I, if I do not marry Ekene, I will remain unmarried. And I will run away to somewhere you, you can never shut find up. me. I will not stop. What has come over you? How can you talk like this? Can't you think about yourself, whom you are? How can you bring a nobody, a pauper, to come to this place and marry you and inherit everything we've worked for? Please, j just go inside and freshen up. Okay, I I'll fix your, your food. So, you are not going to help me talk to daddy? <sighs> okay, I will try, okay? I promise you, I will try. You know I love you so much. All right? I don't want to see your tears. You're just go in and freshen up. I promise to talk to your dad, okay? I promise. Please. Thank All right. You. I don't want you to cry again, okay? Wealth, no wealth. Nobody forced me to marry him, and he had nothing there. Are you not done with this, your newspapers? Is my newspaper disturbing you? Not really. It's just that I want to talk to you about something. What is it? I spoke with you, Loma, today. You spoke with you, Loma? Yes. About what? About her marriage. My love, don't you think we should allow her to marry who she wants to marry? As for me, oh, I think it's not right for you and I to interfere in her decisions. I mean, her private life. And it seems she's happy with this boy. So why not allow her to have her way? Please. Oh, you are not saying anything. What else do you want me to say? Eh? I've said everything that needed to be said about this issue. The man that will marry my daughter is the man that will inherit everything I've labored for through bucket loads of sweat and not a fly-by-night opportunist. Eh? A gold digger that wants to cash into the spoils of war that he never fought in. Look, this is the last thing I will say about this issue. Look, if you want us to live in peace in this house, I don't want you to raise this issue again. 
My love, how can you live in peace when your daughter is not happy? Okay, can't you make some sacrifice? Enough! You're working out on me. I'm talking about her happiness or her joy. Is it not still a man that will marry your daughter? Not, not even a, a woman. Eh? Your wealth, your wealth, your money. Can't anybody come and marry her and inherit all these things? Uh, he would listen to you. I spoke to Ekene. He sounded so broken and unhappy. This means that you have nothing to do concerning what I told you yesterday. No. Nah. What do you want us to do? Okay. Please, we're going to do it. But please help me talk to Loma's father. I will not go to his house in respect of this matter. I will not. She know this, she know that. As a matter of fact, I like... He would listen to you. I spoke to Ekene. He sounded so broken and unhappy. This means that you have nothing to do concerning what I told you yesterday. No. Nah. What do you want us to do? Okay. Please, we're going to do it. But please help me talk to Loma's father. I will not go to his house in respect of this matter. I will not. Baby me, I love you so much. But you see the problem that I'm having now is that my father is maintaining the same position. And I'm tired of the whole of this shenanigan. Even I told my mother to help us talk to my father on our behalf. And she says, see, Yemi, there is nothing on this edge that will make your father change his mind. <laughs> nothing is paining me now. Yemi. Hmm? The thing now is not your father. The pro. Oh, oh. my brother in law. How are you? Hi. Good to see you. You're welcome. Thank you. You mean like I was saying, this whole thing is not about your father. It is about you. What is your stand? Uh, baby me, what do you mean by the, what is my standy? Do you want me to lose my inheritance? See, if my father die now, everything belongs to me. And let me tell you, my father is suffering from a, a prostate cancer. And he will never last another four to five years. So if my father dies now, everything that my father has, all the money, will belong to me. And me and you will enjoy everything. Then I will marry you. Baby. You do not get it, do you? Did I hear you clearly? Did you just say that I should wait for another four years? And then your father will die of his disease, his sickness, before we get married? Is that what you're saying? Uh, baby, me. Please, I want to understand. Let me ask you a sincere question. Do you know how old I will be in the next four years? Baby, you'll be 36 years old and I will still marry you because I've been waiting for you. Because I love you. You will wait for me, Yemi. Yes. Sincerely. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You will wait for me. And then in the next four years, you will go find yourself another Yoruba girl that suits you. And then you will leave me hanging on the shelf. Isn't it? Ah, uh, It's not like that, you see. Baby me, I love you very much. Eh? How can I leave you and go and marry another Yoruba girl? I always remember everything you have been doing for me. How you have always been there for me. How will I now forget all those things and go and marry another Yoruba girl? I will marry you, baby me. Yemi, yeah, take a good look at me. I am a strong girl. Who can take anything that comes away? In this field, I am a professional that can fend for herself. 
Do you understand me? Now, listen. If you cannot stand for yourself, if you cannot stand against your father and make him understand what you want, I do not think that you are the man for me. Ah, baby. Let me finish. You can go home, lie on your father's laps, suck your mother's breast, and please leave me the hell alone. You, 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 you see this rubbish, this nonsense? The, 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 the thing you're having is over. I am a very busy person. Do you understand? Uh, baby, me, it's a massive bad for me. Ah, it, please now, it's in, I love you well, well. Eh? Uh, my, please. Uh, baby, please don't be alone. Please, don't yeah, me, do this to yeah, me. Uh, do you know that if people hear you talk, they will not know that you are up to 40 years. They would think it's one twenty something years old boy that is speaking. I, it is your love that is intoxicating my. Disgust me. When you are not talking nonsense, leave my office and lock my door. It is your love that is intoxicating me. I love, I love Isine very, very well. Isine, baby, me, Isine. Right to call him a fool. Any man who waits for his father to die so he can inherit is a compound fool. Ekene, please. I don't have the strength for a quarrel. I don't have that strength right now. Biko, the long and short of the story is that I have ended the nonsense and whatever thing we are having. And that is it. Please help Maka, please. Okay. Well, I'm just coming from Uloma's house. My God, I know. Will you get out of this place with your sorry self? This is happening. I know you very well. If my father is so dying, the money will come out. Like I was saying, I'm just coming from Oloma's house. And the father chased me out and warned me never to be seen around there again. Now you just ended your own relationship with that thing. You see how the world turns around? We used to be the ones to reject everybody. Now we are being rejected by everybody. How old are you? How much time do you still have that you turn people down? Look at it. We keep rejecting people, now we are the ones who look like fools before the public. Continue with Mama. We keep rejecting people. i 
Listen to me, Uloma. Your father has warned me not to ever come close to you again, that we can't get married. Why don't you leave me alone to pick up my life and move on and make something out of my life? Why are you disturbing me? What is all this? You know this will lead us to nowhere. What is it? Please, do not disturb my line again. I'm begging you. Please, please, please don't do this to me. Please, you can't leave me now. Please. I am ready to risk my father's anger just to be with you. I do not care if he disowns me just to marry you. Please, you can't leave me now, not after everything we've been together. Please. Hello? Hello, are you there? Uloma just left with the car keys now. Are you not worried about her? What if something happens to her now? Hmm? I'm talking to you. Did I send her anywhere? Eh? Did I? Is that all you have to say? What else do you want me to say? Me, I don't want anything to happen to my daughter. I don't want anything to happen to her. Please, I want to rest. battle in your defense because I thought you loved me. destroy my home oh, I can I don't know what is going on honestly sister what do you mean by you don't know what is going on isn't it I don't know what is going on with you and I can We've only said no to every girl Ekene brought home. Look at the Unoma we accepted. Her father is not helping matters. He has warned Ekene never to be seen with 
his daughter. I don't know. In all honesty, I don't know if God is trying to pay us in our own coins. Rejection is not something anyone should go through. It is the worst feeling ever. I came to see Mama. I didn't know you were around. I came to see Mama too. Oh, is she in? Yeah, she's inside. Oh, good. Um, hey, woman. Meet Ezine, my other sister. She's a medical doctor. Wow. Ezine, hey, woman. Good afternoon. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> um, let's go and see Mama inside. Mm. I like I'm so, 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 so. How I love got to flow, flow, flow. I should be living for me Cause I like him so, 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 so How I love gonna flow, flow, flow Anyhow she be living for me Cause I like him so, 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 so How I love gonna flow, flow, flow Anyhow she be living for me Cause I like him so Hello, Ezzy. Sister. Sister, good afternoon. I used to come here this evening. I'm already on my way. Is there any problem? Perfect, sister. Please, hurry up and come here now because he can't just walk in here. Has he said anything why he wants to see us? No. But, but he came in here with one girl like that, looking like one uh, mommy water. You know, I think that is the reason. Mommy water, what? Sister, sister, I'm not joking. You need to see this girl. She is looking obviously from the rivers. If, if, if this girl now, on her chan, eh? What I don't understand is where a Kenneth goes to get all this kind of guests from. Eh? He cannot just go somewhere, get a very good girl and marry a decent girl for a wife. I don't get it. Even he said a name and their name is saying, I said, No, he won't. Man. What kind of a frightening name is that? That name is frightening now. Eh? Is that only a name? A woman. Is that an Igbo name? Yeah, Sister Ejukwam. How would I know? I don't know. Don't worry. When I get to the house, I will see her. Has Mama seen her yet? Um, I don't know. They just walked inside now. But do you know, if not for one thing, I would have stopped them from going inside. They, they, they do not say, eh, it's in there, I started again. And can look here, but they won't enter. But just to avoid issues, I stayed back. It's alright, don't just do anything stupid, okay? Who knows, this one might be a decent one. Ah. <laughs> hey, I wish. D. He won't mass, it's a decent. We are. Sister, come, I'm, I'm, I'm here, waiting for you. Be fast. Be cool. Be cool. <laughs> I may ask, 
Why are you moving out? I am moving in with Ekene. What? Ekene? Are you out of your mind? I am out of my mind, Father. I am leaving before I completely lose it. I am moving in with the man who will help restore my sanity. Now, will you put back those clothes before I descend on you? Your threats do not scare me anymore. Right about now, I do not care what you do to me. But please, be fast about it, because nothing will stop me from being with the man I love. Oh, Lama, will you shut up? What has come over you? Do you know the meaning of love? Oh, Lama, tell me, because you don't know exactly the gravity of what you're doing right now. You want to move in with that little boy that might end up dumping you tomorrow after using you. I really do not care if I'm just his wife for an hour. It is better than the torture of being stopped by your prejudice and bigotry. Can't you people see that we're in love? Can't you people see that we make each other happy? Ekene isn't even interested in your money. Who told you he is interested in your money or class? He asked me to marry him before he discovered the daughter of who I was. If I do not leave this place tonight, I will end up killing myself and he will kill himself too. Then our blood shall be on your hands. No, 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 no. it has not got into that. Please. issues. Hmm? So you have to wipe your tears so that we can talk. Okay? Um, <clears throat> you mean you love this guy so much? <laughs> and it's not uh, one of your passing fads? And you love him so much that you want to be his wife? Yes. Yes. I love him more than the air I breathe. Um, what of your exams? Your medical exams? You know, you are in the middle of your exams and um, my dream is for you to be a medical doctor. Are you willing to give up all that just because of this young man? Being a medical doctor doesn't mean anything to me if I can isn't there. Come. <laughs> Take it easy, okay? Wipe your tears. Wipe your tears, okay? I know why you're here. <laughs> eh? Don't worry, I'll go and get it for you. Ah. Eh, 
Uh, and see if I knew you were coming. Ah, thank you for having me. <laughs> okay. I'm coming, eh? Thank you, ma. Hey! It's a bug of Thank you, ma. Oh, you Guys, you see the good Okay, mama. Thank you. I'll get it. How do I start now, Safe? Ah, this thing I want to tell you, man. Finish your food first, then we'll talk about tasting. Oh, thank you, Mavi. Mm. <laughs> ah, I love you. Kazi it in a barbell. What is in Kong with you? Ah, Mami, eh? you are a good cook. I know, I know. I'm not in Asia, Bian. Eh, Mami, eh? Miss, can I get extra pepper from this? Eh? Extra pepper again? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You know, my mate used to put a pepper for us where when they put us. I will get the pepper. Mommy, thank you, ma. Hey, hey, I will get the pepper. Okay. Thank you, ma. Hey, hey, I I'm very sorry. You see, it is not my fault. You see, I love his in a very, very much. It is my father that is the problem. It's your father. It is not your fault. You fell out there, mate. So you knew you wanted to put my daughter, yet you came here, sat down, eating my rice, and asking for extra pepper. Uh, uh, mommy, I actually wanted to tell you before I eat. You said I should go on first, and when I finish, Ibewu, when you knew what you were here for, you decided to finish eating. So your father thinks that an Igbo girl, an educated one for that matter, is not good enough for you, okay? Uh, why can't anyone understand me now, eh? You should I allow my father to disinherit me. To disinherit you? Oh, hmm? You're disinherited from here. Get out. Get up and get out. Disinherit you. Uh, Mama, uh, now I came here now to beg you to help me uh, bring us in a bag. Uh, now, to meet my father. You took out why you here. You know, you can't cap me. You bring us in there, now. Are you not the one that married this, this small man? Make him up. Look at him, he just look. Come on, get into this guy. Get out. My head is dancing. Oh, I'm, I'm off here. Yeah. My head is dancing. What time you got? Can I have a chase? Believe I say that, man. Come. If we are late, come up here. What are you doing? 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 You see how men are? You see how they are? They are very wicked, even the tiniest of them. They will use you and they dump you. Nekira, I will buy them. You just said your blue one with a kid, you won't tell. Okay? You are not him to, to, you know, on, on your body. I don't even want to say hello, no, no. I warned you that little men are very troublesome. You said no. You said you could carry him and do whatever. Nani, no. See the result. Now he's the one that has carried you. The, the, and, and look at you. He overused you. He overused you. I don't know why you never met you. Why you? You don't believe in me too. You don't know why. We never let you go. Now, Lily. Ha! 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 We never let you go. Now, L
If I lose my inheritance, will they? This is in the people. Eh? Now, if, if I lose my father's inheritance now, what will what, 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 now, now live to survive in future? What is wrong with the man? Nothing. Nothing is wrong with him. It's not his fault. Whose fault is it, then? He's the one who is not seeing what his daughter is going through. It is your fault. It is Mama's fault. It is Ezine's fault. You were the ones who always rejected everybody I brought. Aurea, every single girl I presented before you, you turned her down. Now we have become the people whom everybody rejects now. And you are asking me whose fault is it? Like you don't know? Continue. Oh, Logonu. And you did a good thing by shedding off that, that good-for-nothing boy because you don't need a boy like that. You need a proper man. Somebody who can stand his ground and build a home. Not one who would always crawl back to his father to beg for crumbs and I'm waiting for some inheritance. Imagine the cheek of it. Please tell Uloma that I would love to see her. You did not hear when I told you that the father warned Miss Stanley not to ever cross the house again. That if I continued my relationship with the daughter, he would disown her. You know what I'm going to get that one? He said, I'm going to get that one. 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 What can I do? Okay, I'm going to get that one. very worried by now. Oh. What should I do? Um, I think you should go and look for him. No, 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 mommy. Not after everything I said last night. Don't sound that way. Eh? He would want to see you. Yes. Just go and look for him, please. Okay. Can I make use of your car? Why not? You know where my car keys are. Just go. Okay? Please. Alright, mommy. I just want you to take things easy. Alright? Don't stress yourself. You know, your father is very difficult and you really need to be patient in following him. It's okay, mother. Mm -hmm. Okay? Just take it easy, okay? I will, mother. To my prayers and yes to the no says and there's nothing I won't do to be beside you. I 
Flow, 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 anyhow she be, leave I'm for me, cause I like I'm so, 